Hello friends, welcome to Penos Turtle. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Oliver 47R Blue Color Body with Silver Color Cap Fountain Pen. And here, this video is specifically taken to give you the clear insights on the pen because just with photos, you cannot fully understand about this. So here, this is a blue color body and silver color cap where it is a golden color clip and the top portion, it is also in the body same blue. And the brand's name Oliver was mentioned in this body and also the model's number 47R. And the brand's name Oliver is mentioned in the engraved in the cap portion also. As this is a metal cap, you can engrave your names or logos in this cap. And let me take it out. And this is a semi hooded nib. After removing, it is looking like a 47. Camlin 47 model and that is a Preston type 1 and this is number 0 nib with the medium tipped silver plated one you can swap the nibs as you like since we have number 0 nibs in many brands and with the fine medium tip with gold and silver plated nibs for that you can go to a side click pen spares and go to nibs and there you can use a filter and make a query on what you require Let me show you the ink filling system. That is a eyedropper one. Please apply a silicone grease or vaseline in the grip uh, grip portion, the thread portion. It will increase the life of the thread. And also, whenever you're filling the ink, fill below the inner threads. If you fill in excess, the leakage path will create it, and you will spoil your hands. And a good amount of uh, ink will be filled up in this portion. On pen maintenance, please wash the pens regularly, that is twice a month because all the dye based ink will precipitate on the longer usage so it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so you will get a scratchy writing and slowly the ink will dry quickly and then you may, you may have to shake the pens for, uh, for the ink flow to come out. The reason is the blockage in the feeders grow. So to clean the dirts and deposits, you can easily remove the nib and the feeder unit separately. After removing, you can flush the feeder with the help of any brush. Or clean it well with soap water. If you're soaking in soap water, then allow it for an hour and brush and clean. And in some ink bottles itself, you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water. So this is a brill bottle. Here it is given. Clean your pen with water before filling with brill ink. It is unique formulation, prevents blogging and aids quick drying on paper. So it is clear. Unless otherwise we have a good cleaning and maintenance, the flow will be affected. And few nibs need to be fine-tuned because during the manual assembly of nibs, the tines may stick together. So gently push the tines up and down so it will create some space in between the tines so we will get a smooth writing and very good ink flow. And whenever we dispatch the pens to a customer, we do this fine-tuning. This is our usual practice. And now to the measurement. The holding area's diameter is 9.1 mm and the body is 10.4 mm and length of this pen without cap is 122.5 mm and with cap it is 138.3 mm with this measurement you can get some idea about the pouches for this pen if you maintain this with the pouches and all the same aesthetic shininess will last forever and this is the important maintenance in a fountain pen for pouches and all you can refer our site we are having single pen double pen and three or four pen pouches also now to the entire weight of this pen is 11 grams Now, I'm going to give the writing sample of this pen with our Penhouse Embroil Green Ink.
Je very smooth, ne? Yeah, the writing is so good and the good flow. And if you have any query about this pen, you can ask in the comment section or else you can make a call to mobile number. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.